let alpha be one of the roots of the quadratic equation 3x square plus px plus 3 is equal to 0. Therefore, alpha square is the other root. So, the sum of the roots alpha plus alpha square is equal to minus p upon 3 and the product of the roots alpha times alpha square which is equal to alpha cube is equal to 3 upon 3 which is equal to 1. Therefore, alpha cube is equal to 1 and therefore alpha is a cube root of unity which means that alpha can be equal to 1 or omega or omega square. Now consider the first case when alpha is equal to 1. In this case, equation 1 derived above becomes minus p upon 3 is equal to 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 and therefore p is equal to minus 6. But we are given that p is positive and therefore the solution is ruled out. In the second case, alpha is equal to omega and therefore equation 1 becomes minus p upon 3 is equal to omega plus omega square. But we know that 1 plus omega plus omega square is equal to 0 and therefore omega plus omega square is equal to minus 1. Substituting this in the above equation we get minus p upon 3 is equal to minus 1 and therefore p is equal to 3. In the third case alpha is equal to omega square and therefore equation 1 becomes minus p upon 3 is equal to omega square plus omega raised to the power 4. Now this can be written as omega square plus omega cube times omega and we know that omega cube is equal to 1 therefore the right hand side is equal to omega plus omega square which is equal to minus 1. Therefore, minus p upon 3 is equal to minus 1 and therefore p is equal to 3. Now, the result from case 1 is not admissible because p is positive and both case 2 and case 3 imply that p is equal to 3. Therefore, the desired value of p is equal to 3.